hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and this is what the esp32 okay and in today's session we are going to see how to install arduino id and configure the esp32 on windows machine okay so now we are going to move on our windows 10 machine so friends we are now on our windows 10 machine okay uh, suppose if you have the windows 11 installed on your machine same steps for the windows 11 okay so first we need to download the arduino ide software so simply open the browser and this is what their official website just scroll down okay and windows uh, win 7 and newer okay simply we need to click here then click on just download and as you can see now it's downloading the arduino ide 1.8.19 setup.exe which is the latest arduino id software okay so it's now downloading so friends as you can see we have completed our download now simply we need to open the setup.exe file so click on here and click on open it will open our setup.exe okay and as you can see arduino setup license agreement simply we need to click on i agree then click on next then click on install now it's installing okay Meanwhile installation friends as you can see would you like to install this device software simply we need to click on install again simply we need to click on install click on install and that's it as you can see now Arduino ID setup is completed simply close and close all these things now we have successfully installed our arduino id on our windows 10 machine okay so next step is what next we want here a cp210 driver for esp32 okay so i have created here a zip repository arduino ide esp32 okay we need to simply clone the repository so go to the code i will mention the link and click on download zip it will download the zip file as you can see it's now downloading okay so friends as you can see we have successfully download our repository simply we need to go inside the folder so show in folder and here it is what our repository we are going to extract the repository so right click and we need to click on here extract all extract and as you can see we have arduino esp32 hyphen main folder open it and this is what our cp210 driver simply we need to extract the folder here so right click click on extract all click on extract as you can see we have all the files and folders so now i am right now on windows 10 64 bit machine so i am going to install the 64 bit driver suppose if you are on the 32 bit version so simply you need to download the x86 so right now i am on 64 bit version so i am going to install cp210 64 bit so right click click on open and as you can see this is what our setup window click on next i accept click on next now we are installing the cp210 usb driver simply click on finish that's it we are all the done with basic setup now simply we want to connect our esp32 with laptop so i am going to connect the esp32 okay so friends i have connected esp32 with my laptop now i am going to show you if you go here in this pc we need to simply type here uh, this pc okay and we need to go here in manage so in manage we need to go inside the device manager and here it is as you can see port and com and lpt if you click here as you can see silicon lab cp210 usb driver and our com port is com3 so we have successfully installed the cp210 driver now basically we can configure the esp32 with arduino id so com3 is our port so simply i am going to close all these things and we are ready and we need to open the arduino id software click on allow access allow access again that's it we have now our arduino id software ready 
so now what we want to do here we want to simply go inside the file then preference and here it is as you can see we have here additional boards manager url so we need to paste here a url so url the folder which we have cloned inside that we have our url so arduino esp32 hyphen main again same folder and as you can see the main this is what our text file if you click and open this is what the link which you want to paste so simply copy the link and open the software and in additional board manager urls we need to simply press control v that's it and then we need to click on ok ok now we need to go here in the tools then board boards manager and here we need to search for esp32 esp32 as you can see esp32 simply we need to click on install then it will install all the components for esp32 on arduino id as you can see it's now downloading okay so it will take some time meanwhile i will pause the video okay so friends as you can see we have successfully installed the packages for esp32 simply close and now we are ready we need to go in tools then the board arduino uno okay and here it is as you can see we have here esp32 arduino and we need to scroll down here okay and go to the end and we need to select here let me search for we are going to select here esp32 so this is what we want to select do it esp32 dev kit version 1 okay so i am going to show you again go to the tools then board arduino uno esp32 arduino and then we need to search for do it esp32 dev kit version 1 as you can see do it esp32 simply select it okay now again go to the tools port we need to select the port so com3 is our port now we are ready we need to check our esp32 so we are going to check the example so file example okay then just scroll down and we are going to search for wi-fi okay wi-fi then wi-fi scan as you can see the wi-fi scan select it and it will open the code okay so we need to simply click on upload now it's uploading the sketch inside the esp32 as you can see first it it will compiling the sketch okay so friends as you can see it's connecting okay this is what the error no worry about the error we need to simply click the boot button of our esp32 so i am going to just press the boot button of esp32 okay as you can see now it's uploading so if you see the connecting error simple we need to press or we need to click the boot button of esp32 board we have the boot button on esp32 okay we need to simply boot until we can see the code is uploading as you can see here from here it is it's uploading the code then i just unpress the boot button okay so this is how you we successfully upload the code inside we basically upload the sketch inside the esp32 board okay so now simply we need to go here serial monitor here we need to select the baud rate 115200 okay and then we can see the wi-fi connections which nearby our esp32 board okay as you can see the valorant and all other uh, wi-fi connection ssid okay so it means it it show the scanning status it means we have successfully upload the sketch inside the esp32 okay so this is how you can uh, install the arduino id also you can uh, upload the sketch inside the esp32 board i hope you would learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye